It's become a treasured destination for musicians and audiences alike. For the 10th anniversary year of Wentz Concert Hall and Fine Arts Center, we decided to explore the sound inside, hailed as acoustic perfection in Naperville. It has absolutely amazing acoustics. Some liken the sound quality of this fine arts center, right here in our backyard, to that of larger world-class venues like Carnegie Hall. It compares to the best of the best. In the mid-90s, North Central College's president, Hal Wildey, was driving plans forward on a new $30 million facility that would transform the performing arts. The college had always served as the uh, provider of cultural amenities to Naperville for its whole history and, and would probably continue to do that into the 21st century and it was important that we had uh, facilities that could accommodate not just the college's needs but Naperville's. In every aspect of your life you are trying to learn and grow and experience and enhance your human time more and the arts are a huge part of that. Fine arts professor Ramona Wiss and fine arts director Brian Lynch joined the college and helped lay the foundation for the building. And then to actually work on, you know, what the actual structure of the building would be and helping to attract donors and everything from where it would go to how big it would be to what the programming would be. But I wonder what could happen. It took nearly 15 years of carefully crafting the acoustics, engineered by Rick Tulaski, who's designed many others like it around the world. When we were in the planning stages and talking to the acousticians and the architects about this hall, one of the things that was um, unique was the fact that it was going to be a large hall, but not so cavernous that you couldn't feel connected to the music. Finally, in the fall of 2008, the state-of-the-art Wentz Concert Hall and Fine Arts Center, named after an alumnus of the college and lead donor, Dr. Myron Wentz, opened its doors to the public. Students were among the first people eager to take center stage. Shortly after we opened, we had students who were rehearsing in the building for like 2 a.m. And I cornered a couple of them and said, um, don't you guys sleep? Do I do? They said, you gave us this building. We have to live up to it. So the students were upping their game because of the caliber of the building. Three layers of sheetrock in the ceiling, along with horizontal wood panels on the side, reduce vibrations that cause unwanted sounds, making for crisper, clearer musical performances. You get a full range of sound in this room. Um, that you get all of the lows just kind of resonating and all the high soft pitches so it's there's no there's no frequencies that are missing so you get the best of the music when you're listening to music so as a singer as a performer it lifts you up it it it, it helps you sing one of the annual concerts that's become an audience favorite and demonstrates the acoustics is explore the sound it's kind of a guessing game. Yeah, it's fun. And it's really neat because you never really know where it's going to come from next until you see the lights and then you hear the sound. We really started to talk among the faculty and say, you know, I wonder if, you know, what if we had people singing up there? What if we sang in the aisles or as they walked in? With the express intent to put people in different places and to hear and to experience it, and little did we know we were crafting an event that would take on kind of a life of its own and would change from year to year. The Wentz Concert Hall and Fine Arts Center has attracted many professional musical acts like the Chicago Sinfonietta, DuPage Symphony Orchestra, and Naperville Men's Glee Club, just to name a few. Also attracting fans to downtown Naperville. When we have a performance, people are going to dine there. People are going to stop there for some refreshments afterwards. So it, it builds on the popularity of Naperville. Official 10th anniversary celebrations for the hall will kick off in the fall. Meanwhile, Lynch and Wiss hope that generations of musicians and audiences alike will continue singing Wentz praises for years to come. To have this gem here in Naperville 
is a tribute to everybody involved in the project and a salute to the college and a salute to the city. For 630 Naperville, I'm Angela Hager. For a list of upcoming performances, check out the college's website.